Yujiro versus Berkeley gotta be one of the best fights I've seen so far. Yujiro's strategies, man, it blew my mind. The way that he copied the sword, threw it up there, you know, he had the ice attack, projectile, smoke bomb, psych, and then he did the Shikai and the Bankai, but I think his lifespan got uh, deducted. The durability, because the rose, right? There's like two two components of the, the release recollection. One is just like AoE freeze, and the other is like sapping the durability. The, the plan was like, Berkeley, you're a fucking boomer. So you're going to have less durability than me already. So we're going to like sap each other's down. And by the time you're done, I'm still going to be alive. But then fucking the prime senator shows up. Who's a, just a clown. But he's got crazy system calls where he can just like petrify Berkeley. And now it looks like Yuji is going to be an integrity knight, which fucking sucks for us. Alice and Kirito, I think, are still just chilling on the edges outside of the tower. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> It's funny because episode 18.5, the recap episode that we're not reacting to, but we just checked out, had the exact same intro because this is the outro of episode 18, right? Yeah, it's, it's just they, they, they double dipping. Technically, this is triple dipping. アドミニストレーターによって秩序と正義を維持するために展開からしているはずだけれど I mean these two and that's Berkeley on the right no is that L3 probably but these two Fanatio and uh the Crimson Knight like I'm still expecting them to come clutch for us they should be supporting us later on because like they've been kind of benched they got confronted Fanatio were even healing her so like I expect these integrity knights to show up and for our cause when we need it the most memories of the heavens Cap not memories of the heavens though memories of earth or this place you have a sister. And then touchdown. Touchdown! Okay, memory's coming back. Come on, forehead boner now. Come on. Yujio. Selka. Mom's cooking. All right, give her the entire plot then, but then she's gonna have the forehead boner. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the icicles as well. Yeah, the whole lunch thing. The seal of the right eye. Yuji's right eye. Yeah. And he chained you up and fed you to the fucking dragons and got dragged. Mom is gone. Selka. And she was also a fraudulent chef. She she sucked at no, I don't know if she sucked at it, but it says mom's cooking. Yeah, it's dark territory. People. あ、その通りだ。与えられた第一の使命は、ダークテリトリーからの侵略に対する防衛だというのも倒し、最高司祭様をも刃にかけたとして。I feel like we're not going to meet the 20 plus other integrity knights. I feel like the ones we've seen are the most important ones and there's not going to be much that's going to be important. Because like, think about it, right? There's like, what, 31 integrity knights? But the most important so far is just like Berkeley, Fanatio, Eldrie, the Crimson Knight, Alice. The other two church girls, I don't think they're quite knights. But like, there, there's a lot of other knights, you know? Are we going to actually have time to, like, give characterizations to each one of them? Or are most of them going to be treated as, like, NPCs? I mean, I'm literally just already treating the Heavenly Four Blades as the NPCs right now. Right? Because, like, Fanatio and the Four Heavenly Blades or some shit? I was like... Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You would, wouldn't you think that someone like Pontifex, that is so, so power obsessed to make sure no one can oppose her, would be this lenient? Would be this off guard against the Dark Territory? 
when the integrity knights themselves are saying, we can't do this, and the prime senator says it's fine? Either the prime senator is literally whispering lies into Queen Quinella or Pontifex and saying everything is going to be fine, or Pontifex herself is either so confident, or remember those minions, the dark arts? I still feel like Pontifex knows the dark arts. And I don't think it's too far uh, of a reach to assume that Pontifex probably rules over the Dark Territory as well. And the Integrity Knights, the reason there's only a couple of them, right? No need to build a fucking army against them. Because at the end of the day, this is her plan to have an excuse to use the Integrity Knights to do whatever she wants. I'm not sure, but I could totally see Pontifex playing both sides. Especially with the recent events of the minions showing up and like, why would they be here? It's that or Prime Senator is Dark Territory spy and is whispering nice lies to Pontifex saying, hey, everything's going to be fine. But I want to believe that the Pontifex is literally double dipping in both, you know, this world and Dark Territory. It's very unreasonable right there. The Integronites are saying, we need help, and they're saying no. It's like... And another thing... What did Berkeley say last episode? That Dark Territory people, Knights, the Dark Knights, have combo attacks, right? And Berkeley himself said that I needed to figure out new ways to counter those, and that's, this is what you're seeing right now. And what are those combo attacks? Who has combo attacks in this show? Well, Kirito does, because he's from fucking Aincrad. He's not a fucking AI NPC in this show bound by certain movesets. So I just feel like Dark Territory people, like, there's, like, more players there, right? And hopefully someone related to, like, Laughing Coffin or, like, the two people we saw in episode one, you know, with uh, the new death gun as well as his boss. Like, I could totally see it, man. でも。まだ全てが寄せてくるまでに人海にもできる限り大規模な軍隊を整えれば。できるはずがありません。でも、what <laughs> We have, we have an army too. Is, is it just commoners? But like, we got a lot of armory and gear. Let, let, put these fucking farmers to fucking work, bro. Everybody, I don't care. Get, put your armor on, get a sword, let's fucking fight. Alright. That's definitely an option. That's definitely an option. That's definitely an option. That's definitely an option. Yep. And then we gotta raise an army. It's so fucked how we're literally infighting right now, right? Like, we are wasting time fighting amongst ourselves and the dark territory showing up, but... Again, I feel like the Pontifex, this is all according to her plan. Minions! 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 That is such a fucking pointy chin. Holy fuck, you could cut something with that chin, Alice. This is some days in my stepsister bullshit right now. Straight up. Shall we count the amount of seconds? This, this is some filler animation bullshit happening right now. What are you doing sitting there? You sitting in the mood? Say something! Holy shit. <laughs> Salka? Yeah. What? Right, because it's not going to be her memories right now. Oh, and that's fucked up now. Oh, man. Because, like, this is Alice, but it's not Alice. This is Alice known as the Synthesis 30. The old Alice is the one that we knew in episode 1, and the Alice that we've known so far in the most recent episodes is just gonna be gone. What a fucking... What a problem we're... This is another paradox! The fuck? I told you, we wasted too much time, slice of life! The cute, funny, slice of life Alice moments is now making us hesitate! 
Never get baited with slice of life moments, man. Also, wonder what Selka looks like now. A lot of time has passed. <laughs> Okay, my mouth, my throat. Okay. Really? Oh, These tears. You know it's true because you're crying. You've been lied to. Well, I don't know about the mom. Like, what? who knows what the fuck happened to the mom? But yeah, the dad exists and he chained you up. Selka? Selka right now? She doesn't look too different. I thought she would look way older because of the time skip. Then again, we only see her face close up to like hear him from behind. <laughs> now we're gonna hesitate wiping our fucking memories, man. Oh no, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Seigo Kishiwa. Psycho Sai Saman Yote Skurata to you, so you go to Maroka to Motemas. The synthesis ritual. But it's too big to you, Nano Shoshoka. Yeah. And that's another crazy thing. Six years. The old Alice, if we insert that USB into her forehead, how is that Alice gonna behave in this new Alice body that's six years past? She's just gonna be like, oh, hey, gang, what's going on? All right, let's get back. Is she just gonna hit the ground running? <laughs> That's gonna be sad as fuck if that happens, bro. And then you're gonna see her, and then it's and then you're gonna have to go away, and it's gonna be even more sad. Is there no possible way where like a different body of Alice can be shown and we can implant the soul into that one? Right? To have two Alice's. Alice times two. Or a situation where they both merge together would be interesting. That could be too, yeah. Alright, I swear to you. So, we need to literally still climb the tower, go to Queen Ella's place, steal the original Alice memory block, then go to Rulet Village, then she go and do all that bullshit, then we're gonna do it? Okay. Oh, shit. oh! Why do you say that? Is it because she declared it? She said she about to quit it? And then immediately heart attack. Some kind of defense mechanism for integrity knights? Taboo index. It's alright, Alice. You've already basically we we crossed that line before, but finally we see the eye in the uh, 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 uh not just from yuji and what happened last time every time that i showed up i thought it like yuji was specifically special and saw that like alice was an anomaly but no what happens after we saw what the ryos and you know uh the creepy episode in episode 10 yuji was i happened again when he was about to break the taboo index right so it's like a warning warning then he fucking blew his eyes up somehow then he crossed over the taboo index so like right now too alice probably is like uh, crossing the taboo index or nearing because you're forsaking your duty as an index, uh, integrity knight, but... Okay, let's see what happens now. Break it. What is it? Blow your eye out. Yeah, same situation. And like, we can heal our eye, I think, after. System alert. Barcode? Oh, those are barcodes in the side too? I never knew. I always was focused on like system alert 871 or something on Yu-Gi-Oh's eye. Yo, is there a QR code coming up too? There, 578, 875, whatever the number is. System alert, 871, that's the one. Yep. Okay. Now with this, you can even more understand like everything is so fucked up, right? Even my mind is controlled by someone else. True. Now she's actually becoming woke. She's opening her third eye. Pontifex. Probably. No? Oh, Wrath. I thought that Pontifex would have done it, but 
at the end of the day, it is the wrath employs the gods that, you know, started all this shit. A god that doesn't appear in the creation story. The creation story that we know has the four gods, right? And one of them was obviously the child, the Vecta guy. It was the bad guy that introduced the sin and shit. But like, there's another one? Maybe I'm not understanding what he's saying here about the creation story. When I think of the creation story, I remember like the four original Wrath employees that showed up and basically pollinated the world. But is it saying there's a fifth one here? Yeah. And you were so proud to be a knight. And that's the worst part. You were so proud to be a knight defending the honor of Pontifex, bro. Like, the more you drink the Kool-Aid, the more you don't even recognize how you're getting abused. <laughs> this line is very interesting. Yes, I may have been created by someone else. And she's right. Right? But she's not right. You know what I mean? She's saying that me as a synthesis knight, I have been created by Pontifex. But if we take a step back, even before then, you as Alice, you were literally created by Wrath, you know? But she's still a human! That I, yo, 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 that I! Asuna fuming. <laughs> Cucking Yu-Gi-Oh and Asuna right now. Don't let any of them see this shit. <laughs> The moonlight. Woo! Oh! I thought we were trying to prevent that from blowing up, but fuck it. She declares war against the, you know, the, the people with authority. Fuck it, let's go. We can heal the eye back, just like with Yuji, right? But then again, I think TZ or Roni used it. Whatever. The fuck? Oh, shit. It's the synthesis ritual time for Yu-Gi-Oh. No, don't listen to her, Yu-Gi-Oh. And the problem is... Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't know about Pontifex's lore. Because Cardinal and Kirito made Yu-Gi-Oh go take a poop for like an entire episode. So Yu-Gi-Oh can't even recognize this shit if he's not even brainwashed it yet. Like, it's, it's, it's a wrap. It's over, bro. You. Think about Alice, bro. Come on, mom. Yes, you're not my mom. My mom doesn't have purple hair. Out for milk, like every anime character. <laughs> what the fuck? You're gonna gaslight him? Okay, okay, interesting strategy here. Gaslight him and then. <laughs> oh. Ritual. Prime Senator. Yeah, and you basically won. Chudokin. Chudokin clown. Is this the Queen's Chamber? Nice weapons. We made it to the top. Oh my goodness, them toes. So, if we think... When was it that a mysterious being said, come to the top of the central cathedral tower? Remember when that person said that? Who was that then? Was that Cardinal? Was that Pontifex? Was that Alice? There was a blonde girl. It was like a golden hair showing up and saying, you know, you need to go to the top of the Central Cathedral Tower, right? So it's like, Quinella, Cardinal, Alice, Asna, Aegil. Yeah, it was Aegil. It was Kayaba in a wig. Kayaba in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Yuchio, what are you doing? You getting in bed with Pontifex right now? Okay, Yuchio. Dude, you're supposed to secure Alice's memory block thing. Stab her. Stab her with a knife. Yuchio still has one, right? The knife. Cardinal? Cardinal! <laughs> Little dagger, that's right. I got it out too! Nah, fuck it! Fuck it, Alice will be fine. Al Alice blew her You know what? Alice is basically on her side already. She's woke. Come on, fuck it, just. We're cooked! You hesitated! Yo. 
He has now been awakened. Huh? How you thirst? Oh, no, she using her coochie powers again. She doing the mommy gaslight. <laughs> what? It's not genuine love because other siblings? So basically, your definition of love that Yuji is missing is like unilateral, like one way only between me and you. Pontifex, you fucking lying ass bitch, you hoe. You are saying this shit to every integrity night. This motherfucker about to be the 32nd love you're gonna give. You, you contradicting yourself. <laughs> What is this argument, Yuji? Well, it's fine to sh share love between you and the siblings. Why are you getting upset that the love was fucking shared upon the siblings, bro? Is that a thing? Hold up. Maybe it's like, a like an actual psychological thing when he was a child that he did want to monopolize mom's love. I don't know. Really? Is she gaslighting? <laughs> Yeah, she lied, right? You killed them all is what she said in the past memory. I Either she's memory washed us and she's already fucking baiting us or this actually happened. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know anything about Yuju's family, to be honest. Do we know his dad? Maybe from Rula Village. Village. I honestly don't remember anything about their family. <laughs> Red hair girl? Tise. Tise. That's right. We cut mustard down. That's not a bad thing. That's right, Yuju is thirsty. And the only one that can quench his thirst right now is Pontifex's coochie juices. Yeah. Oh no! Is she about to show a screen of Kirito and Alice hugging each other right now? No, don't do this! Don't do this! <laughs> Domain expansion! Gaslight! Are we going back to the children days? Holy shit, we going back into the children days when Kirito was cucking Yuji with Alice? What the fuck? No. They eating sandwich together without you, Yuji. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> I can't believe you. <laughs> this is so fucked up and funny at the same time. You're showing children memories? Like, I thought that she would show them, like, hugging each other in front of- in, in the tower edges, because that's a- that, that- that is actually happening, you know? But you can misunderstand, but you're literally gonna give him a false memory of child Katie to an Alan? Oh my god! <gasps> it is- it is a lie. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The funniest shit would be if he was mad there, not because Alice was showing affection towards Kirito, but the vice versa. Imagine, bro. Imagine if Yuji was like, <laughs> doesn't matter because bros before hoes, Kirito still loves me more than Alice or some shit, but unfortunately, they're not gonna fucking, you know, uh, they're not gonna just like double down on the fucking gay jokes, bro. Lies! Lies! She got 32 nights now! This is the synthesis ritual? The, does she do this to everyone? I wonder if every ritual is a bit different and she preys upon like the insecurities of each specific individual. Does she do this to Berkeley? Does she do this to like, I don't know, fucking Fanatio too? The thirst, bro. Oh, oh, oh! Yu-Gi-Oh, don't do it! Stab her, Yu-Gi-Oh! Stab her, Yu-Gi-Oh! Deeper. Deeper, she says. Or intense. The wording is so weird. No, this is not what love is. You're being gaslit. This is more lust, if anything. It's not transactional, Yu-Gi-Oh. <gasps> Tisei! 
you. How the fuck did TSA just come out of nowhere and defeat? Yo, TSA literally just opened up a simple domain when Quinella was literally within domain expansion. That shit was supposed to be instant hit. That shit should have been instant hit. How the fuck did TSA just open up a simple domain here? Yujiro-senpai. Oh? Yujiro. Alice. Yujiro. Kito couldn't even hear what he's saying. No! I think this is imagery of him being blocked out. This is the ritual, right? This is like the purple rod thing that's being formed right now. Not like this. Not like this. So, oh, Yujiro, how could you? Well, I guess Yujiro's not a virgin anymore. I will never love you. System code. What is it? System code. What is it? Dude, I just. Could you imagine right now? If he says system call. Psych. Like, are we getting baited? I don't know. Because, like, if the assistant call and his enhanced armament or, like, re release re recollection or something, oh, that would be so dummy hype. If he fucking uses Shikai or Bankai or just stabs him with the knife, that would be so hype. No! 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 Put the condom back on! Why are you removing the protection? No! Yuji, come on, my man! Yuji, my boy, come on! So, you. Come to me, Yujiro. Dude, I understand that the author is obviously alluding to, you know, the sexual innuendo right now, but it is insane. The whole dialogue of Queen Nella to Yujiro is starting with thirst that can't be quenched, man. Like, oh my god. How, how much more specific you gotta do? You literally removed the protection, and now we're coming into you? No, Yujiro! Protection! No! Next episode, Synthesis. Guess who's gonna become Synthesis? Yu-Gi-Oh! As the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Synthesis 32. And that's the fucking episode, bro. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. And now we gotta fight his ass? And the whole knife is fucking wasted. Just think about this. Think about this. Kirito already wasted his knife on, on fucking Fanatio. yu gi had the knife. He didn't even fucking use it. He had to just do one of this. He was too busy looking at her ass. Now we don't have anything. Cardinal can't do her shit. What the fuck do we do? We have Alice at least. But we just made a dumbass fucking promise with Alice to go to fucking rule it before we take her memories back. Like, things are looking pretty bad today, man. Things are looking pretty bad. What did we learn today? Um, well, Alice become more awoke. We got more confirmation about the right eye. The theory that I had about breaking the taboo was true that I stated in episode 10 when Yuju blew his eye out. And then there's a little bit more interesting talk with how the Integrity Knights are very aware of how we cannot win against the Dark Territory. But, you know, the Prime Senator is saying, nah, skill issue, you guys figure it out. Which makes me think that either the Prime Senator is whispering nice lies into Pontifex because Prime Senator is from the Dark Territory. And they want to are working together to bring the ship down. Or, it's simply that Quinella is double dipping. And she probably uses the Dark Arts because the minions are here. I don't know. Either or, it's probably the outcome. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Bro took the condom off and he's going in. And he's about to be synthesis, bro. This is fucked. This is fucked and I will see you next time. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more, uh, more content. And until next time, take care.